In Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, the gibbering mouther is described as aberrations taking the form of giant blobs of flesh, covered in mouths lined with vicious fangs, and dotted with wide, crazed eyes that spin in all directions. In 5th Edition, the gibbering mouther is attributed to magical experimentation, the creation of mad or violent sorcerers, while others within the lore assert that they're one of the possible results when a sentient creature dies while in a place touched by the aberrant Far Realm. Regardless of their actual origin, one thing is known about their biology for certain, that for each living creature a gibbering mouther consumes, it grows another mouth and eye, and the flesh that forms its body grows larger as it melts down and incorporates the flesh of its victims into its own body. The gibbering mouther has an AC of 9 and 67 hit points, and moves incredibly slowly at only 10 feet per turn. They have terrible stats with the exception of constitution, and are only immune to being knocked prone. They have the trait Aberrant Ground, in which the terrain 10 feet around them becomes soft, difficult terrain. At the beginning of a turn, players moving through this terrain must make a DC 10 strength save, or else become stuck, setting their speed to zero. The Gibbering Mouther also has the Gibbering trait in which any creature within 20 feet of them that can hear must make a DC 10 wisdom save at the start of their turn. A failure on this results in them being unable to take reactions until their next turn, and forces them to roll a D8 to determine what they do for their current turn. On a 1 through 4 they do nothing, effectively skipping their turn. On a 5 or a 6 they take no actions and instead use all of their movement to run in a randomly generated direction. On a 7 or 8 the target makes a melee attack if able against a random creature. The Gibbering Mouther itself makes a multi-attack consisting of a bite and its blinding spittle as long as the ability has recharged. The bite has a plus 2 to hit, dealing 5d6 piercing damage, a potential of 6 to 30. Anyone hit by this attack must also make a DC 10 strength save or else be knocked prone. If a creature is killed by the bite damage, their body is then absorbed automatically into the Mouther. The blinding spittle targets one space within 15 feet with what is effectively a flashbang. Any creature within 5 feet of the space targeted must make a DC 13 dex save, or else be blinded until the end of the Gibbering Mouther's next turn. As a DM, there is a huge portion of the Gibbering Mouther that's entirely up to random chance. The Gibbering trait can alter the strategy of players and the DM alike based on its outcome, and so you have to be a bit flexible. However, the overall strategy is fairly straightforward. Most of the danger from the Gibbering Mouther is the constant saving throws that the players must make. Between the Blinding Spittle, the Terrain Strength Save, and the Bite Strength Save, it's likely that players will damage one another in the fight, be knocked prone from time to time, or else have their movement completely messed up. The Gibbering Mouther should prioritize using the blind ability on ranged players, as if they fail, they are effectively taken completely out of combat for a round. The Mouther should then focus attacks on those who are already prone to gain advantage on their strikes. Aside from this, the encounter is pretty much completely randomized, so just have fun with it. The Gibbering Mouther, like most aberrations, is likely inspired by the madness-inducing masses of flesh from Lovecraftian lore, like the Shagath species in the Cthulhu mythos. These creatures are mounds of flesh, tendrils, mouths and eyes that were created by the Old Ones to be living tools, but eventually rose up against their own creators. These creatures were at one time mindless monsters that were used as slaves to build cities and other wonders for the Old Ones, but over time they evolved and gained minds of their own, which led to an inevitable rebellion that would decimate their masters and themselves. The Shagaths in Lovecraftian Mythos are massive blobs of flesh, eyes, and mouths that kill their enemies by engulfing them and consuming their flesh, adding that flesh to their own mass. Similarly, the Gibbering Mouth kills and consumes its victims and adds to its own mass. Where they differ is that the Gibbering Mouthers in D&D are still mindless tools of destruction, usually created by mad wizards, whereas the Shagaths of Lovecraft are evolved sentient creatures, whose origins likely inspired the creature of D&D. If you enjoyed that video, please leave a like and comment below, and consider subscribing to the channel. You can also join the Patreon for $1 a month to access videos days before they're posted here, as well as other exclusive stuff like short stories, videos, and more.